Take the sling, unfold it and look for the middle. While holding the upper edge with both hands, place the sling across your right arm so that one end of material runs in front of your arm and behind. Pull the entire length of material up to the neck with your left hand. Don't twist the sling while doing so. Grab the front on the inner edge of the sling and with the other hand look for the counterpart. With a bath towel test you can check whether you are having the same edge in your hands. Gather the entire length of material of the rear sling in your left hand and guide the material with your right hand upward towards your right shoulder. Adjust the length so your left thumb rests at your left hip. After that, throw the sling backwards over the material fastened to your shoulder. Make sure that the cloth is not twisted. You can simply pull the edges of the sling back and forth to check this. Now guide both respective slings in front of and behind your body in direction of the left hip and temporarily fasten it with a simple knot. Take your baby on the left shoulder and reach with the right hand between the two strings from outside to inside in order to hold both of your baby's legs. Set your baby at the height of your hip on the sling so that it rests with one leg in front of and one leg behind your hip and the sling runs through the hollow of its knees. Spread out the sling with the left hand by pulling the upper edge upward over the arms and your baby's head so that a cap forms. Babies who can already hold their head up on their own, it is enough to pull the cloth upward until it is under the child's arms. At the same time, make sure that the lower edge of the cloth does not slide upward and continues to rest in the hollow of your baby's knees. Afterwards, tuck the material back into the neck area. Lift your baby's bottom slightly and with the right hand, tuck the lower edge of the cloth upward in the direction of the baby's belly. Tighten the sling running around your baby towards the right shoulder. Now loosen the simple knot underneath the baby's bottom. While doing so, firmly hold the rear material with the left hand as this ensures that the loop on the right shoulder remains in its place. Take the right end of material by the upper edge and tighten it. This should take place gradually in at least three to five faces so that the sling fits individually to your baby's back. These steps have been taken in order to bind your baby to your hip with a round back in the recommended straddle tuck position. Guide both ends of the sling in the direction of the baby and fasten these below the baby's bottom with a double knot. Starting with the lower cloth, pull it downward across the right shoulder to the middle of the upper arm. In order to take the cloth off, loosen the knots underneath the baby's bottom and as much as possible make sure that your baby is not moved in its position. Carefully tuck the sling running around your baby upward over its head and remove it downward. If your baby has fallen asleep, bend your upper body forward, lay your baby down and cover it if necessary. Your baby will normally continue to sleep. Only now take the cloth off completely.